Hey, welcome back everybody. Um, we have got this really cool machine here, annealies. This anneals all kinds of brass cases. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna break this up into just a couple, two or three videos. We're gonna show you all the components, how they work, some adjustments you can make, and uh, a lot of the different options you can get with the different wheels here. And then we're gonna see this thing in action. So I guess just let's just jump right in. Now, first off, um, if you're interested in one of these, uh, contact Jeff Buck at annealies.com and I'll leave all that information below. But let's take a really good close look at this thing. Let's see it in action because this thing is pretty slick. I've been doing just tons of brass with it. Everything from 223, seven millimeter, uh, 243, just a bunch of stuff and it works great. So let's jump right in. All right, so first off, when you order this, it's gonna come with a standard set of wheels here and the standard set will do anything from a 223 up to a 30 6 style case. If you want to go like 7 millimeter, something like this, which we're going to do a bunch of these here shortly, um, <clears throat> you'll need to order the wheels appropriate for that for these bigger cases. Now, this you can also order some real short stuff here for things like 300 blackout, 6.8s, different things. Um, they got a lot of options. They also have some stuff that's not listed on the website, like 50 BNG and, the, and some of the shy uh, tax. And you can special order those. They have them. They just don't have them listed on the website. So just wanted to throw that out, throw that out there real quick. But first off, let's take a look at some of the real basic things that you get. So, for starters, this is how the machine is going to come right here. Now it's going to come with the standard wheels, and you're going to get your tray here that catches all your hot brass. Here you've got a, basically this is a turnbuckle assembly that's extremely adjustable to get the flame pointed right where you want that to. You have your rheostat up here. This controls the, the speed of the wheels and then your on switch, off switch. In the back, this is really nice because everything just sits in the back here. You have your power supply. It'll hold a short bottle of propane. Now what I do is I don't recommend that anybody uh, run their bottle laying down. You're better to have this standing up. So I just pull this off to the side, put my bottle on there, screw it on, turn the valve on, good to go. But before we do that, there's a few things that we need to take a look at here. Um, some issues that can actually happen during shipping that you need to know about. So if you take a look here, there are these two these two nuts here. Now let's uh, let's get just a quick close up on those. So these two nuts here are what you're going to need to back off to make a real quick adjustment. What can happen is right here things get a little bit out of whack. And how we adjust those is just by coming in here and loosening these up. I don't recommend that you take them all the way off. They don't need to be taken all the way off and uh, it's highly advisable not to because you have to put all this gearing and stuff back together. So, but what we can do here is just reach around the back and you can see there's actually some adjustments in here. So what we want to do is make sure that we have some good clearance down here and decent clearance here. You don't want this thing all the way down to where you take away all your clearance here. What can happen is stuff just doesn't, well, things don't flow right. You can have cases that start dropping out. So we want to push this sort of up in this direction here. And that's where I have found it to be the most useful. Just come in here snug these up. They don't have to be terribly tight, you just need to hold it in place. And it certainly isn't like it's holding a lot of weight. So I just snug those up, and this is just a 7 16 inch wrench, or a socket I should say. So there we go. Now we got some good clearance here. Everything's good there. We've got our power supply unit. Now on the side, right here, is 
where are you going to plug this in? We'll plug that in there. Plug this into the wall. And there we go. Take a quick look here, make sure that everything's going to function just fine without adjustment. Now, up here is the rheostat that controls the timing. You can speed it up, slow it way down, even to a dead stop. Preferably, what you'd like is the case to remain in the flame for four to five seconds. That's kind of the magic number. You can also order some Tempolac, which will allow you to get very specific on the temperature that the flame is inducing into the case here. So <clears throat> now, as this is sitting here, you can see the torch tip is going to be coming, the flame is going to be coming under this, so we need to adjust this. And all you need for that is just a 7 16 inch wrench. So let's pop this off of here. And all we're going to do is just loosen that up right here. Take a closer look here real quick. See what I'm talking about. Now the 9 16 nut is just kind of a spacer. It's not really meant for anything. Now let's, uh, let's move this around. This thing slides back and forth. And you can also rotate the torch. And of course, you're not going to want the torch coming directly across here. You're going to want to kind of angle it away from the machine just a little bit to keep the flame away from the wheel. And also to get the flame just below the shoulder, just a little bit of the case. You want that flame, you want that, when this, when this thing starts getting annealed, you want that blue line to be right around here. Put that in there and just kind of eyeball this. We can always adjust it as we go. Okay, that's going to be pretty close right there. Now on the back side, there's this nut right here. We'll take a closer look at that real quick. This is the nut here that will allow you to also make some adjustments to get that flame just perfect right where you want it. Pretty simple. Very, very user friendly if you ask me. Now, let's go ahead and just hook up our propane here real quick. So we're going to grab the hose out of the back. Spin this on. Open this valve up here. And I just set this off to the side here like so. Now you've also got the valve right here that is going to be adjusting the flame itself. So let's, uh, let's make sure we get this right where we want it, or at least where we think we want it. And just give that one final snug, like so, nice and solid, simple as that. Let's grab a lighter and put this thing to the test.